Hello guys and welcome. We are now in the rendering section and I will render this out. I will apply the texture that we are exported from Substance Painter. So the first thing, I will add the texture, PPR texture. So let's open the material editor. You can click M from the keyboard or you can hit this button right here. And that's cool. It's opened. I will use a physical material. Physical material can be used with Corona or any render engine you want. It is very easy and it has the slot we want to add the PPR texture inside. So I gonna hit right click and go to the material and general and click physical material. You can choose it by this way or you can go to the general and uh, pick one like this First of all, I gonna change its name to tire So This physical material is for this tire just put like this Like this so now let's import the texture. Let's choose a bitmap and go to the destination folder. And I will choose tire paste color and click open. After that, click uh, show shaded material in the viewport to see it. Okay, the result is good. After that, I will click this material and hit shift and drag it like this to duplicate it. And double click on the material to open the properties of the material and go to this bitmap and click this button and choose the roughness but be careful there is something you should do for the color information it's very okay to import it without change any gamma but for the rest of the texture you should give them override gamma with the amount one that's something you should do if you don't do that, you will face a problem with the reflection when you render. So let's uh, hit override and give it a value, one, and then hit OK. So this is the roughness. For roughness, it's very easy. Just pick it and drag it here in the roughness map. And as you see, the roughness now is working. So after that, I will duplicate this map shift click and drag and let's uh, open the properties by hit double click and go to this button and press it and let's choose the tire for a normal map i will choose this one you have two as you see i will choose open all gl and don't forget the override will be one and hit ok so this is the normal map I need uh, to go to Corona map that comes with Corona and choose Corona normal. After that, plug this in here and plug it in pump in here. Now everything is okay. Now we got information from the normal. You can double click on the normal and open the properties and take the plur down. 0.5 will be okay this will sharpen the the map a little bit now we have the embed occlusion we need to add embed occlusion so i will hit shift and duplicate this one and double click to open the properties and open uh, hit this button and go to the ambient occlusion i'll choose it and don't forget the override and hit ok Ambient occlusion is giving me a bit of um, shadow inside the cavities. 
so it's just a fake effect if you want to use it it will give you a shadow effect inside the cavities actually you can ignore it if you want and if you like it you can add it for me i can ignore it but i imported this texture just to show you where you can put it so to plug this uh, with the material it will plug here in the pace weight map by that it will uh, give the effect of ambient pollution that's the first uh, way we have another choice if we want to plug this we need to go to maps and go to composite and choose one I will unplug this from the base color and open the properties of composite and hit duplicate now I have two layer the input collusion will be in the top layer so I will drag it and uh, put it right here in instance and the the paste color will be in here in instance now as you see the ambient collusion is override everything and the bitmap is not shown so after that change the blend mode to multiply as you see the effect and plug it in the base color like this now we have the effect of ambient collusion and as I said, you can ignore it if you want, or you can manipulate it. You can add uh, Corona color correction. And here, if you want to manipulate it, you have, uh, you have many choices. You can do whatever thing you want. So I will leave the material like this for now and I will uh, import the other texture I will choose a physical material and I will duplicate one of these maps hit shift and drag double click hit this button and go I will texture the wheel so I will choose the base color and for the base color keep it without gamma and hit OK now plug this in the base color and duplicate it again double click go to the properties and open it and now i will choose the roughness and don't forget to give it gamma override one and open so i will add it here in roughness and i will duplicate it again and choose the normal open gl and with gamma 1 and OK and go to Corona Maps and choose uh, Normal Map I plug this here in Normal and put it in the Pump slot and after, and after that if you want to import the if you want to import the input collusion for this color I showed you how to do it for me I will ignore this I will create the third one but I need to change the name of this one for uh, wheel and apply it click the object and click the map and hit A and show shade material in viewport like this and it's cool I will uh, choose another physical material right here and duplicate this one shift drag double click and go to a logo base color without any gamma and hit OK plug it here in the base color duplicate it shift and drag open the properties hit this button and go to, cho to choose the roughness 
with gamma override 1 and hit OK plug this in roughness now it's cool duplicate this one again and choose the normal open key L with the override and hit OK and from Corona maps choose Corona normal and plug it here and put it in the pump slot maybe I I will duplicate this one and double click and open the folder and choose metallic uh, texture with the override gamma one and ok for metallic you can plug it here in metallinous map and you can do this uh, for this map too double click and open the metallic for the wheel this metallic map with override one gamma and plug it in the metallinous in the maps I have displacement but displacement is not useful for me because I have a normal map normal map will uh, will uh, give me the effect I want I will reduce the normal map for all the okay they are 0.5 and that's what I want let's apply the material of the the logo and show head material in the viewport and change the name for logo so now we learned how to import the texture and how to apply it on the objects in the next tutorial I will put the light and render the skin